When you hear the term welding, what comes to your mind? Is it mechanical? Is there something industrial about it? Does it bring up images of a robot arm delicately joining two pieces of metal to form a single seamless piece? If that's the case, you're not familiar with welding, at least not in the context of SpaceX's Starship program. With all of that aside, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and his crew have done an incredible job developing their gigantic rocket ships. Want to know more about it in detail? Well, keep watching the video ahead to find out how SpaceX mastered the Starship's welding. Hello everyone and welcome to SpaceX TV. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship, or anything related to that multi-talented, influential tech icon, Elon Musk. Having said that, let's get into the video. SpaceX, based in Hawthorne, California, is an American aerospace manufacturer and space transport services provider. Elon Musk launched it in 2002 to lower space transportation costs and allow the colonization of Mars. Although SpaceX has had numerous achievements, one big setback occurred in June 2015 when a Falcon 9 rocket exploded while transporting cargo to the ISS. This loss almost brought SpaceX's activities to a standstill as the company lost critical trust with its clients, most notably NASA. But SpaceX knew that unless every aspect of its design passed rigorous tests, it would never be able to launch rockets again. So over 10 grueling months, welding engineers collaborated with leaders at all levels to develop better internal and external oversight processes for managing their welders, which they then meticulously implemented. The stakes couldn't have been greater since a failed test meant SpaceX's federal contract would be jeopardized. NASA gave SpaceX permission to fly humans into orbit in September 2016, proving that it has regained NASA's trust. SpaceX needs to secure 100% weld quality on each section of its Crew Dragon spacecraft to prepare for its first human trip in 2017, which would be its largest ever. To do so, they needed to establish an in-house certification procedure and welding facility at their Hawthorne, California headquarters. Most importantly, it meant asking each welder if he or she could accept responsibility for his or her job and prioritize quality above speed and throughput. So what exactly is welding? A welder is a machine that uses heat to melt metal to put items together. Heat may be produced in three ways, electrically, mechanically, or chemically. It melts two or more pieces of metal into one single piece, regardless of how it is made. Each welding method, also known as fusion welding, has its own set of characteristics and purposes. For example, gas metal arc welding creates a molten weld puddle by creating an electric arc between a wire electrode and the base material. Flux cord arc welding, on the other hand, heats a wire fill material that has previously been prepared until it melts and flows out of a nozzle into the workpiece. Because it requires less heat input than other techniques, like shielded metal arc welding, this form of fusion welding is frequently employed for thin materials. Because you don't need shielding gas equipment like tanks or pipes, FCAW takes less time to set up than SMAW. SpaceX Welding Overview Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, wanted his company's new rocket factory to feature something no one else had seen before, something that would let them make rockets quicker and cheaper than anybody else in history. Musk made many critical decisions that aided SpaceX in mastering its craft at an unparalleled rate, decisions that were fueled by his relentless pursuit of innovation and efficiency at every turn. For example, Musk knew that to reduce costs and speed up the production of his rockets and space capsules, SpaceX would have to rely on robots. They used this information to create a 150-ton friction stir welder that could fuse titanium pieces at an unparalleled velocity. In traditional shipbuilding, welding is typically done by hand, not because it is necessarily more effective or safer, but because it is faster than automation. Indeed, for aircraft companies like Boeing and Airbus, labor expenditures are one of the most significant cost drivers, estimated at 25%. However, Musk was more concerned with invention than with expense. Let us now have a look at the history of welding. Musk created SpaceX in 1998 and began building its first rocket in a Los Angeles suburb. SpaceX hired a few dozen welders from all around California to make parts for their rockets at first. SpaceX required more qualified welders who were ready to work long hours, weekends, and holidays as the company developed. While local welders in Los Angeles were more expensive than those in Mexico or China, they were used to working quickly since launch businesses like SpaceX had tighter schedules. 
Additionally, SpaceX need welders who can make exact welds while still being economical enough to tempt them to work overtime as needed. They should be able to make repairs and instruct others on the spot, ideally. San Pedro has a vast pool of qualified laborers with expertise in building massive steel buildings, in addition to being one of California's main shipbuilding ports during World War II. SpaceX was able to cover its welding needs locally initially, but as demand rose, there were eventually too many tasks for local welders. That's when SpaceX opted to get its welders from Mexico instead of the U.S. Because they did not have the high expenditures connected with commercial real estate or other expenses in L.A., local Mexican welders worked just as quickly but at a far lower cost than their American counterparts. What are our current circumstances? Since May, SpaceX has been utilizing robotic welders. But how did it take so long? It all began in February during a welding test. SpaceX soldered two panels together before mounting them to a rocket sled that hit 70 miles per hour in less than 0.25 seconds. Team members realized they required new and enhanced software after seeing a video of unsuccessful welds. Engineers discovered, however, that one difficulty remained. Training with robots alone would be exceedingly difficult since applying pressure to delicate and smooth metal at high speeds, such as on a rocket sled, was extremely difficult. While it was difficult to create, combining robots and people allowed SpaceX to fully use the talents of each team member. Robots excel at putting down straight, uninterrupted lines over metal sheets, while humans can work in smaller spaces and with more intricate designs like holes. Furthermore, we already know that people are better at completing jobs promptly because they are not restricted by their physical capabilities. Robots require time to warm up before reaching peak welding speed. Each team member plays an important part in SpaceX's welding puzzle, ensuring that high-quality welds withstand launch conditions. Human-robot collaboration can enhance efficiency and quality control while lowering costs when compared to alternative assembly techniques because of these responsibilities. So let's sum up all together. The two parts of SpaceX's latest rocket, Grasshopper, were expertly welded together. It was a rocket that broke loose from Earth and returned safely to the surface. SpaceX sought a means to ensure that future rockets could achieve the same thing, break free from gravity and return to Earth in one piece. Their answer? They hired all-star welders and taught them how to produce some of the greatest welds ever done, step by step. Their outcomes were outstanding. SpaceX had to master its welding before it could break free from Earth. To do so, SpaceX partnered with some of the best welders in South Texas. You know, the place where the welding technique was invented thousands of years ago? At first, SpaceX's request for outside assistance may appear to be a reach. Their rockets, after all, are significantly more complicated than the typical house and automobile. Nonetheless, SpaceX understood precisely what they were doing when they hired outside help. It may make a major difference in the quality of their rockets. You don't want your rocket to explode after launch owing to incorrect construction if any minor flaws are discovered early on and remedied throughout production. After hiring some of South Texas's best welders, SpaceX jumped right in and taught them all they knew about their process. There was a lot to learn, as you could anticipate. Nobody has ever done anything like SpaceX, so no one could educate these welders on how to do it on their own. Instead, SpaceX created a brand new welding technique exclusively for them and trained them how to use it. Talk about devotion! SpaceX discovered that they desired greater standards than ever before after going through thousands of tests and inspections before and after manufacturing. They wanted all future rockets to be able to break off from Earth and come home safely. However, they required considerably more resources to accomplish so. Now it's your turn to say, what is your takeaway after all these? What do you think? Share your point of view with us in the comments section of the video. With that being said, if you found this video informative, don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up. To get more episodes like this, subscribe to this channel now and chime the notification bell right away to stay up to date with us. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.